Today on The Hookup, we're going to learn how to use some of the hidden functionality on everyone's favorite $5 smart switch, the Sonoff Basic with Tazamata. First, let me start by saying this is not going to be a video about setting up Tasmata for the first time. If you've never used a Sonoff with Tasmata before, I highly recommend you check out Dr. Z's videos on the subject. He's got everything you need to get started, including wiring, programming, and even a little bit on safety. Come to think of it, I hope I'm not stepping on his toes by doing a Tasmata video. I know that's kind of his thing. Anyways, let's check out some advanced functionality that you may not be aware of. The first feature you might not be using is the LED built into the Sonoff Basic. By default, this light turns on and off based on whether the relay is engaged, but can actually be controlled separately via its own MQTT command. This means it can be used as an indicator light for almost anything in your smart home. In my house, this light switch by the main entry hall lights up whenever the exterior alarms are active, and this light switch by the garage door lights up as a visual indicator that someone has left the garage door open. In order to use your Sonoff LEDs as an indicator light, you'll first need to unlink them from the relay state. The command to do this in the Tasmoda console is LED state space zero. After you've unlinked them from the relay state, controlling the onboard LED is as simple as sending an MQTT message to the topic command and then the name of your Sonoff LED power with a payload of either one for on or zero for off. In node red, I've set up an events state node with the entity ID for the garage door, a function node that turns the on and off payloads into ones and zeros, and finally, an MQTT publish node that publishes to the topic command garage entry LED power. I designed and 3D printed these Decora switch plates for the push buttons. For the plate that has the alarm indicator, I printed a special plate that has 95% infill and it has a little thin silhouette of an alarm bell included in it. This allows the light to shine through the alarm icon, but not through the rest of the switch, giving it this nice little effect. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can also buy these metal Decora blanks from Lowe's and drill out a hole for the button. After you've drilled a hole for the button, you can drill a smaller hole right underneath it to act as your indicator LED. I bought some of these plastic earring backers to diffuse the light and give it a more finished look than just having a hole. A small side note on this, Amazon is amazing for so many products, but switch plates and blanks are the exception to this rule. You'll pay at least twice as much on Amazon as you would for just going to Lowe's and Home Depot, and a lot of times they come broken. Moving on. The second feature you, you may not be aware of is the ability to send both short press and long press commands with your Sonoff buttons. Normally, I have my short button press tied to whatever switch I replaced with the Sonoff but by utilizing the hold functionality, I can activate any of my switches, automations, or scripts from Home Assistant. For instance, I'm almost always the last person awake in my house, and it's my job to make sure that the lights are off, the doors are locked, and the alarm is on. I've created a flow in Node-RED that does all of this stuff at once, and I've set the trigger for this flow to be a MQTT message of hold to the topic command up lights power which happens to be the topic of the Sonoff that's closest to my desk. To set this up on your own, you'll need to utilize a few commands in the Tasmata console. First, you'll need to set your switch mode. Most people utilize switch mode 4 when using momentary push button switches, but switch mode 5 is exactly the same as 4, except for the added hold functionality. The second thing you'll need to do to get your hold functionality working is to set a custom topic using switch topic. If you want to keep your default switch topic, just copy the default topic from one of the other messages in the console and then type switch topic, space, and paste your old topic name in. Now, when you short press, it sends the on off command, and when you long press, it sends the command hold to that topic. By default, the hold command activates after four seconds, but you can change it if you'd like to by typing in set option 32 and then entering in the hold time you want in deci seconds. In other words, if you wanted to hold for one second, you'd type in set option 32 space 10. For four seconds, you type 40, you get the idea. Tasmoda is full of other features that are just waiting to be utilized. Let me know down in the comments if you found any other hidden functionalities that you use in your automation. 
you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching The Hookup. Thank you.